Okay, welcome back to uh, All Day Vapors. Today um, I'm going to be doing a three part episode about Vape Mate. Uh, Vape Mate at all, you can go to vapemate.co.uk. Uh, it's a UK based company uh, that specialises in e liquids. Now, if you go on this site, you'll see there is a lot of choice. I mean, right at the top is. Uh, you know, we sell over 200 e-liquid, which is fantastic. It's an absolute huge range. Um, and what I really, really like about this website is that you can you can pick and choose not just your liquids, your strengths, but you're also able to choose what PGVG blend you want, um, which isn't always an option. A lot of places maybe do a standard 60, 40 or 70 to 30. But this one, I believe, you can go from, you know, 100% PG to 100% uh, VG, and sort of everything in between. With you know, with 10% um, margins. Um, so that's really cool. I mean, I, I've gone for 70 PG, 30 VG for all of my liquids, uh, just because that that's what I like. Um, before I start the liquid review again, I just want to remind people that. This is all subjective. This is just my opinion on something. Um, what I think tastes like caramel, someone else might think tastes like licorice. Uh, I've got a friend who's got a, I think it's a black currant liquid or a, or a chew it's kind of flavoured liquid. And somebody pointed out that it tastes like tomato sauce. Uh, and now that's all he can taste. So it is completely subjective. Um, these are just my recommendations and any information I've got, obviously products used at your own risk. I'm not advising you to go out and buy something. I'm just giving you my feedback um, of products that I've used. I'd like to point out as well that um, when I'm reviewing things, I ask for other people's opinions. I take devices, I take mods and, and liquids down to the pub. I take them down to a friend of mine's vape shop um, in the Newcastle area. Uh, and I get his feedback because he really sort of knows his stuff about it and I let people smell the vapour, uh, I let people have a taste and not just people who actually vape but people who don't is often the best marker for, for what might be a, a good quality e-liquid somebody who's maybe tried a few things and gone, oh that's horrible and then has picked up something like this and gone, hmm, actually quite nice Also just to add about vape mate um, really really good customer service um, if you are going to use them they um, I spoke to them initially they asked me what liquid um, what strength I wanted which I said 11 milligrams so I wish I'd gone a bit lower um, but they were back and forth with me and then they, you know he said what uh, PGVG do you want and then the next thing it was dispatched, the next thing it arrived. It's the quickest turnaround I've ever had with ordering anything. Um, so if you are running out of e liquids and you do want something delivered fairly quickly, then get on it because you'll have it the next day or two. I mean, I don't know if they guarantee that. I think they say three to five days, but it got here really, really quickly. Uh, the first liquid I'm going to look at is the... Uh, Come on, stone here somewhere. The uh, the bud spanker. Now the bud spanker is in the specialty blends, uh, and specialty blends. I actually picked a few from there. Now I'm not a huge fan generally of sort of dessert flavored confectionery type things because I find they get a little bit sickly, and that would never ever end up as my all day vape. Now the bud spanker is uh, it's a mix of cream, honey, um, Boston cream, I should point out, uh, and cinnamon. Uh, you get this really, really, um, I mean, I'll, show, I'll just give you a little vape. I'm using, um, again, not just by person to person, but flavors differentiate between different devices. Um, I've used all the liquids on a variety of different devices. For the purpose of the reviews, I'll be using the MVP3, and I'll be using the uh, Kanga Soap Tank Plus just because it's got a massive capacity and I'm using the rebuildable section so after every juice, I mean I'll come back, I'll be wearing the same thing but uh, I've put a new wicking in and I've cleaned it out just so I'm not getting any mix of flavours so at the moment I'll take it down to 
probably the lowest this will go because it's it's on a 0.7 ohm coil. So let's have a let's have a bit of a blast. It's at uh, 13 watts. No, what you're getting there is very very sweet. Um, a little bit of cream and honey, I think. That, that's what I think it's just, it tastes like anyway. I'm going to turn it up a little bit because I can't quite handle such a low wattage. I'm going to turn it up to 17 and a half. Despite the mix, I'm making, I mean, I'll, I'll give you a demonstration of how many. Clouds upon clouds. Although I do find these liquids with this resistance hit their sweet spot at probably about 21 watts. Now, the thing about the Bud Spanker is to me it tastes sort of like pancakes, waffles, that sort of thing. And I imagine that's the sort of thing they're going for despite the fact they're not advertising it as a specific dessert. Um, I mean, I don't know, Bud Spanker might be a dessert in America, I'm not entirely sure. Um, however, the difference between this and other confectionery liquids I've tried is this actually tastes real. What I'm finding when I use these e-liquids is the flavour is so great and there's such a unique mix of flavours, I've never had anything like it um, and I've tried it millions of different e-liquids. What I'm finding is the flavour is so great it's actually making me salivate, it's actually making me think about desserts, I've got a bit of a sweet tooth anyway. Um, it's made me think about pancakes, it's made me think about cheesecake as well. Every time I use it there's like a different little flavour coming out. I don't know whether that's good or bad but it is kind of making me hungry. Now again, absolutely lovely vape, loads of clouds. Again, you can choose your own PG VG mix but with the Bud Spanker um, it is very very sweet. Some people might get a bit sick of that. I'm normally one of these people, but I did not get sick of it. I had seven mils in the tank, um, and I've just topped it up. I've, I've basically, in the space of, <coughs> excuse me, in the space of half a day, I have used the entire ten mil bottle that I've here made sent to you, uh, sent to me. So thank you very much, Vair, made for that, uh, for that. I do really, really appreciate it. In terms of throw it <coughs> with the blend I'm using, probably not such a, a strong throat it um, but I do get a really nice smooth warm throat it and what's probably good as a bit of feedback is that the non-vapor friends that I have who have tried it have actually really really enjoyed it um, the one slight drawback I've got <clears throat> again I'll show you this, uh, this little picture of a bottle here you just see this come up on the screen and you see it's a bit ordinary um, I, I tend to have because I've got so many liquids because I'm doing so much filming at the minute I've got them kind of lined up on my shelf um, and the bottles are just a little bit ordinary a little bit boring and I think that's a shame because they are great liquids um, Unusually, I hadn't heard of Vape Mate before I started doing a little bit of research about it. Um, they sell great liquids at, at really reasonable prices, um, kind of middle of the road for prices. But I kind of looked at my shelf and they, they look a lot similar to some much cheaper products. So in terms of that Vape Mate, you're kind of underselling yourself. You have some great liquids. <coughs> Excuse me. Out of the three, I'd say the Bud Spanker is probably my third favourite, I've got to be honest. Um, that's kind of why I've chosen to do it first. 
a friend of mine tried a, the vape mate um, liquids that I've been reviewing and what he said was it's like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory when the kid has that bit of chewing gum and it's like it's a meal in your mouth without having to eat anything and that's what I like about these liquids they do remind me so strongly of desserts that I actually feel like I'm eating them so that's the Bud Spanker I hope you've enjoyed it um, I'm Andy at All Day Vapors and um, stay tuned for the next episode which will be the uh, Cinnamon Danish Swirl Thank you. Bye, folks.